Hi everyone, my name is Chris Cox. I'm a joint PhD student at the University of York in the UK and at Aarhus University in Denmark. In my research, I'm interested in how infants explore and discover the speech sounds of their first language. I'm also interested in how interactions between caregivers and their infants um, might scaffold the process of language development. I've recently done some work on infant-directed speech, which is the speech style that adults and caregivers tend to use when interacting with their infants. And this speech style is quite distinct in terms of how it sounds. So caregivers tend to interact with their infants using a higher pitch, um, a greater degree of pitch variability, so more melodious phrases, and a slower speech rate. A more subtle property of the speech style is also um, that caregivers tend to exaggerate the distinctions between vowels. And these properties of infant-directed speech are quite ubiquitous across cultures and distinct languages. Um, and this ubiquity has led researchers to propose that it might serve various functions during development. So this speech style might be particularly well suited for caregivers to communicate their emotions and intentions to their infants. Um, it might serve to grab infant attention, so we know that infants prefer to listen to this speech style over adult-directed speech. And it's also been proposed that it might help infants learn language. It might make the task of learning language easier. So I'll be presenting results from a recent meta-analysis that we did um, of infant-directed speech. And a meta-analysis is a way of combining results from independent studies on a particular um, topic. So in our case, infant-directed speech. So we synthesized the results from 88 distinct studies, um, looking at 33 distinct languages. And we asked the following question. So to what extent do languages express infant uh, directed speech using similar properties? We also asked whether the acoustic properties, whether the sound properties of infant directed speech change as the infant get, grows older. And we found that some of the um, acoustic properties exhibit um, close or they exhibit universal tendencies. So pitch and pitch variability, for example, were very strong um, features of infant directed speech across many distinct languages. Whereas vowel space area, so the extent to which caregivers exaggerate distinctions between vowels, uh, was much more language specific. We also saw some changes over the course of development. So as the infant grows older, the um, properties of infant-directed speech also change. And this suggests that caregivers might respond to infants' uh, changing needs over the course of early infant development 